you come to church last month. No more of that. No more, ha, can, can you quote the, can you quote the, uh, uh, the Bible from Genesis to Revelation? No, I can't. You can't either. No. <laughs> but I know just enough to know him. Just enough to know him. Just to know that he's a healer. Just to know that he's a deliverer. Just to know that he'll pay my bills when I don't know where the money is going to come from. Just to know that he can take stress away. Just to know that when I can't sleep at night, he can put me to sleep. Just to know that he can wake me up in the morning. Just to know that. You ought to be tired of playing church. It's time to get to know who Jesus is and have faith in him as a living person. Amen. Amen. So, if God asks us to do something like lie not, don't be bitter, forgive, he won't do it without, first of all, talking about his work of grace. And if you ignore his work of grace, if you ignore his work of mercy, then those things he asks you to do, they don't have any appeal. So that's what's happened all of these 30, 40, 50, 60 years of your life. You're trying to wonder why is it seems so hard for me to just do what God tells me to do. It's because you're doing it out of a sense of this is what you got to do to earn what he's already done. You're a lot, Creflo Dollar, man. Hey, I see in my labor, your labor don't go in vain. Your labor is your charity. Charity, Creflo Dollar, your grace, your mercy. You got to do something to get to God, Creflo Dollar. You got to do something to hide in Christ. You got to know where you at, Creflo Dollar, to hide in Christ. You got to know you in Adam and, and not in Christ. You got to know it's not Jesus came, but Adam and God. You got to know that. You got to know 1 Corinthians 15. Let me go there, man. Let me go there. Let me go there. Let me go there right quick. 1 Corinthians 15. You know what I'm saying? Because Creflo don't know it. Creflo don't know it. No. Creflo don't know it. He damn sure don't know it. He don't eat the blood thereof. You know what I'm saying? And I told you. You know what I'm saying? What did God say? What did he say? For it is the life of all flesh. The blood of it is the life thereof. Therefore, I said to you, the children of Israel, you shall not eat the blood of no manner of flesh, especially a human being talking about sacrificing him for somebody's uh, remission of your judging and accusing. Sin is judging and accusing, not no sins that you think as a damn pastor that, that judge people, you know what I'm saying, as the devil. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't think like that. For the life of all flesh is in the blood thereof. That's why we eat food. You know what I'm saying? We don't just burn it up till it's crispy or put nobody on no cross and sacrifice them and they blood. You know what I'm saying? Whosoever eat it, it shall be cut off, Creflo Dollar. Now, where you get your knowledge from. I don't know what God you talk to. You know what I'm saying? In 1 Corinthians, tell them who here, Daddy. Tell them who here. And it ain't Jesus. You know what I'm saying? 1 Corinthians 15. As a matter of fact, Jesus is going to give us all our power back in just a sec. You know what I'm saying? All right. But okay. But now is Christ risen from the dead. Adam got us in him and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, that's a lie. Adam and Eve ain't do nothing. The devil did all that. By man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, you got to be Adam all your life until you die. Everybody are Adam. Even so, in Christ shall all be made alive in Adam, no. But every man in his own order, Christ, the first fruit, afterwards, 
they that are Christ, saying they are Jesus, not in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, them hidden. Those that's hidden in Christ, scared. You know what I'm saying? But those that, that are Christ say this Jesus, man, or this God, or this Adam. They know. They just say who we are. We say first name basis with God at his coming. Then cometh the end. Get this. When he, Jesus, shall have delivered up the kingdom to God, even the father, Adam, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power. For he must reign till he have put all enemies under his feet. You know what I'm saying? The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. And Adam already destroyed death. He came back, didn't he, and brought everybody back to life, didn't he? And got all the dead listening, ain't he? And this the dead that's listening to him. Because dead, dead, dead mean daddy, everybody alive, Troy heaven. And daddy, everything all right, delivered. You know what I'm saying? For he have put all things under his feet. But when he saith all things are put under him, it is manifest that he is accepted with an E-X-C-E-P-T-E-D. Accepted, meaning the only one accepted, this Jesus, which did put all things under him. And when all things are subdued unto him, to him, then the Son of Man also himself be subject to him, Adam, and God that put all things under him. That God may be all in all. Now, Cruflo Dollar Man, I, 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 I really don't know where you, you know, got your knowledge from. You know what I'm saying? Because the Bible say don't eat no blood or a man to be cut off. And the Bible say Adam here and God here. Jesus gave us all the power. And I don't know why you sitting up there trying to go against it. And the law good. We don't even argue about the law, me and God, because we fulfilled it. We told the truth against your devilish ass. Now, instead of doing it out of a sense of gratitude that says, thank you, Lord, by your grace and mercy, you've already done it. So now I'm motivated to want to do what you want me to do. We're so busy looking at the things we don't do so we can condemn ourselves or allow others to condemn us to hell when heaven has already been settled. It is a done deal. It ain't no done deal, Cruflo Dollar. You a lie. If you don't say Adam name and apologize, it ain't no done deal. You cut off because you just ate blood in my motherfucking face, this God. You say, Lord, I believe you got saved by his grace that day. Heaven is already. Man, I ain't never seen you show no grace, man. I'm finna get off this thing. I ain't never seen you show no grace, no mercy, and I damn sure ain't never heard you try to forgive nobody. I damn sure ain't ever, never heard you repent or know what repent mean, because it mean apologizing. You damn sure ain't, ain't in the mood for that. You the devil, man, and, and yeah, you condemned to hell. I told you, don't eat no blood, and I told you, don't lie on me. Shit.